Hello everybody, my name is Benji, and welcome back to the Planet Crafter. Now, I feel I should give a little bit of an explanation in terms of why it's been so long. Um, I had a paper of mine for my research recently accepted for a conference that I will be going to in about two weeks now, and I've literally spent every waking moment that I'm not at my part-time job working on that paper. Which, I mean, that's my primary goal in life. This YouTube thing is kind of a sidekick as much as I love it and as much as I know all of you love it. Uh, so I'm really trying my best. I just want you guys to know that and to bear with me and to enjoy the content whenever it does come out. And just know that I really am trying my absolute hardest to maintain the schedule that I've set for expectations. So thank you for sticking with me and thank you for your understanding. Now, last time in the Planet Crafter, we made this gorgeous new base, and we also went over there and started to kind of explore some things in that little wreckage area, which I think is, you know, kind of nice overall and is rather enjoyable. Uh, however, today we have some even bigger fish to fry. Now that the base is all set up, we can start getting into new content. Oh, hey, it's one of those meteor events that I always say, um, is this the meteor event that's happening and then it never ends up happening? Uh, I don't know what that's all about, but essentially these are super alloy meteors and I'm not gonna worry about going and picking them up right now because my super alloy is actually doing pretty good and my inventory is prepped for something else right now, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it. It's gonna be fine overall. So, this is just gonna be happening for a hot minute. Uh, in between episodes, I've kind of unlocked a couple of things. I'm trying to get my bearings here. Number one, we have unlocked the fusion energy cell and the drone station, which I am just so excited to actually get into and start working on. In addition to that, we also... I know we unlocked something else, did we not? We unlocked the butterfly farm, so I'll be able to actually get some of these insects going a little bit quicker uh, with the new butterfly farm, because the new butterfly farm is 75 insects per second, whereas the butterfly dome is only 20 per second, not to mention the energy cost difference, which I think should probably be balanced, if I'm being completely honest here. So first things first, what we're going to do today, and why I have all of this crap in my inventory right now, is we're going to make some drones! So first of all, fusion energy cell is a wonderful thing that we're going to have to come over here for, uh, and we're going to have to build that in the advanced fabrication station. But then we have everything else that we need for a drone station. Osmium rod, fusion energy cell, super alloy rod, and three circuit boards. Now it looks like it cannot be placed inside. Did I just get an osmium meteor too? What in the world is with this luck? I think the, the YouTube and Planet Crafter gods might be trying to tell me something. Like, hey buddy, uh, start making YouTube content again. It's, it's gonna treat you well. So who knows, maybe this is a sign. I, I genuinely have no idea. Maybe it's a sign, maybe it's just me being crazy, I don't know. So I'm just gonna place this down right here for right now. I don't really have anywhere better that I know where to put it at the moment. Oof, low power. 850 per second? What was my budget? What? You're kidding me, it's that expensive? That is absolutely ridiculous. All right, five pulsar quartz of which I believe it's overflowing. Yeah, the Pulsar Quartz is overflowing. Uh, and then four Super Alloy. Oh my gosh. I find that immensely shocking that I just ran out of power because of this thing. 850 units of power? Are you kidding me right now? All right, cool. So let's see 
What the heck is all of this this stuff here? Let's let's just see. What was the other thing I was gonna make again? Oh yeah, the space trading rocket. You know what? Let's put this on hold. Let's go build the space trading rocket because I have so many credits and I wanna see what the heck this thing is all about. So let's go on ahead, let's put it right next to this thing. Yeah, we'll put it there, that's fine. And I want to check out this first. Okay, automatically launches rocket when inventory is full. I just got three notifications right there. Space pirate gain. Ugh. My achievements are probably going to be broken because I have no internet right now as well. So that's just great. Nope, nope, there it all is. And it looks like I got six today. Space Pirate, gain a total of a thousand Terra Tokens. Space Smuggler, gain a total of a hundred. I don't know why I got that one twice. I also got that one twice. I, I, got, I got three achievements twice. Uh, and then Space Trading, build a Space Trading Rocket. I also have to build a drone, 10,000 Terra Tokens, and a hundred thousand Terra Tokens for further achievements. So let's take a whoa. Coco seeds, wheat seeds, cooking station, valuable items. Uranium rods are eight Terra tokens. Fabric is eight Terra tokens. Are you kidding me? Osmium rod is only six Terra tokens. A rocket engine is worth 13. Bacteria sample is worth six. Honestly, fabric is, is probably going to be one of the best things things that we could do because we could just set up and a whole bunch of like silk things where where's my silk farms well, we could set up just a bunch of silk generators and then those silk generators generate silk obviously and then the silk can get turned into fabric at an auto crafter and then we could just launch the silk into space cocoa seeds and wheat seeds a cooking station Smart fabric. I'm assuming that's how you customize the colors. Customizable sofa, customizable bed. Tree seed rosera. 600% oxygen multiplier. 500% animal multiplier for fish, which we're not at yet. 1400%. That's almost as much as the golden butterfly. That's crazy. 500% locker storage tier 2 3 by 3 living compartment drone tier 2 rounded living compartment bro there's a whole bunch of this stuff okay cool so today's main goal is going to be setting up some kind of something or other to to make fabric for me and just make me terra tokens because some of this stuff just looks absolutely awesome. In the meantime, I'm going to get the cooking station, smart fabric, the customizable sofa, the customizable bed, uh, the locker storage tier two, and I've got 2,000 more that I can spend. I think I'll just, I'll just leave it for now. All right, so that's the trading platform. That looks awesome. And I'm excited to get that automated and, and working. It's great that this game has automation, too. I, I love that. All right, drone station. So this is the container. Whoa. All right. So, oh, my gosh. Build one drone station. Craft one or more drones. There's so much. Inventory demanding. Inventory supplying. Open any inventory in which you want to automatically move objects. Click on the cog icon. Choose a type of object to supply or demand to the logistics system. The drones will transport supplied objects in inventories demanding those objects. Drones won't work if power is out. And then crafting a drone requires a rocket engine. I need a rocket engine to make a singular drone. Are you kidding me right now? And yeah, no, there's the... There's the containers. 
Wow. Holy cow. All right. Um, I'm slightly overwhelmed. This is a lot. This. Oh, I have a bunch of these. All right, cool. Let's just make five. Yeah, let's make let's make five drones. Why not? Let's let's make five drones. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make five drones. Because I don't I don't see any reason not to. Oh, I got a an achievement. I don't think those are coming through. Uh logistics, build a drone. Oh my goodness. All right, cool. And each of these acts as a charging point. It is just like Factorio. All right, awesome. So in Factorio, you place down drone stations, and drone stations have an inventory in which they can fit drones and charge them. This game, it doesn't look like, needs to have anything related to charging. However, comma, but it does have inventories for supply and demand. Okay, so what if I put this and say demand? That's a lot of items. Super alloy, priority one. And then... Are the drones going places? No, it has a demand set. All right, super alloy. What if I go into you and I put supply? Super Alloy, Priority 1, and then I hit, what else does this pick up? It picks up, I can't move the inventory screen, that's fine. It picks up Cobalt, Iron, Magnesium, Silica, and Titanium. Does it pick up anything else? No, no, it does not. And what will be very nice once we get the tier two stuff, I'm just gonna take this out by hand for now. Yeah, look at that. It says there are four drones on the way to come get those. I wonder if we can see the drones on the map. That would be very interesting. Uh, let me go on ahead and hit the red button here and then just put all of this in and hit the red button again. Awesome. And since this is now set to supply all of that, if we go back to the new base, let's take a look at the screen here. It's supplying all of these. There are four drones on a supply run right now and zero on a demand run at the moment. So I'm wondering if we can see those guys on the map. That's the map information. This rocket. Here's the. I do not see any drones right now. Oh, that's a thing, isn't it? The drone visualization rocket. Did we send one of those? I don't remember if we sent one of those. We have a map information rocket. We do not have a drone visualization rocket. Okay. All right. Bear with me, I'm gonna go send one of those off. All right, got the materials. Drone visualization rocket. Looks dope as hell, first of all. I just admire the beauty on that thing. That's awesome. And now that that has been sent off, A, it should appear in our satellite visualizations panel. Yep, there it is. B. They should show up here, should they not? <gasps> there they are! Look at them! Oh my gosh, they're slow. <laughs> they're slow, but they're automated. Look at that! Look at those suckers go! They're doing their thing! Oh man, that's so cool! And they're just going and getting me resources. So now what I can do is I can set up mines in places to have automatic replenishment of supplies. Uh, and then as well, what I can do is I can set both of these 
to demand iron at priority one, right? Demand iron at priority one. And then I can set you to demand iron at priority negative one. I'm I'm a little confused about that. Five is the highest that it goes. Does it does it say out here how that all works? Drones won't work if the power's out. It says it's demanding three iron. Because that is priority, is it not? Yeah, it says priority, not amount. Transport materials from supply inventories. Oh, to corresponding demand inventories. I get it now. Oh. So this number has to match with the number of the other channel. So like it's supplying iron to channel one. However, comma, but this is requesting iron now on channel number five. At least I think that's how it works. I might look up the wiki and, and see what exactly the priority is on all of that. Uh, for the meantime, though, <laughs> I guess I'm just going to clear clear some of this out. I guess I don't really I don't really need to. Right. I could just set up like a, a whole own thing for that. And then I could just put like, you know, iron priority one or whatever right like i could just do this uh and now anytime that that starts to overflow with really crappy resources like these you know these five really crappy resources now it's going to um yeah, it's going to just demand those and go on ahead and crush them. However, comma, but I do not want to do that with this one because of how far away it is. The drones are just going to literally suffer. They're they're just going to suffer uh, at that location. So what I can do instead is I can head over, head over to here and I can make you demand iron cobalt, magnesium, silica, titanium, and put you all on priority one. And now the drones will take all of the crap out of this and shove it in that box. And then I can do that. Whenever it's full, it's just going to go on ahead and completely and entirely empty itself out. That's wonderful. That's so, that's so awesome. <laughs> Oh man, that is so cool! Alright, how many more of these do I have? I've got three more. Let's go on ahead. Let's make three. That's perfect. That's a sign. That's a sign. Let's make three more drones and add them to the network. Oh, well, crap. I need more iron. That's fine. Because I have so much extra iron, it's, it's literally not even funny how much extra iron that I have right now. And now... Those guys are all doing their thing, and the drones, where'd he go? Just disappeared. I was hoping I'd be able to see him flying around. Now if I go back into here and I see the drone visualization, look at him, look at him go. Look at them all go. They're all doing great things. Hey, look at that. They're all going to the super alloy and collecting it over time. That's so awesome. All right. Give me a moment. I'm going to gather the necessary materials uh, to make myself a fabric farm. Uh, I'm going to make a completely dedicated building 
or a dedicated fabric farm so that we can start getting terra tokens. And then we'll end the episode there. The game keeps giving me super alloy, and I have it automated now, so I don't know why. I just figured I should let you guys know that this is happening again. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, we're back over here. And I'm going to go on ahead and build up this automatic crafting station. Even though I don't have all of the larvas yet, I'm still waiting on those to finish sequencing and processing. I think it's going to be beneficial to just go on ahead and get this whole thing already figured out, done, dealt with, and placed, and all that good stuff. I would have figured I would have needed another row of these. Perfect. And I still have enough iron. This is what happens when you plan adequately, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, there's that. Now, the thing that I did not prepare for was putting a door. So I'm also going to move the drone station to over here as well. That way they're, you know, a lot closer together. Another meteor storm? Are you kidding me? Why is it giving me so many freaking meteor storms? This is ridiculous. Like, it's to the point where I don't want the bother. I'm in the middle of stuff, man. I don't want the bother of having to go deal with picking up resources. I guess this one's going to be one of those false alarm ones, huh? That's fine. I don't mind it being a false alarm, in all honesty. Alright, perfect. Now, what I'm going to do over here... Or I guess over here is I'm going to demand fabric. I'm going to demand fabric on a priority two. And then I'm going to go, oh, look, it's the drone. Oh, he's so cute. I absolutely love it. I was wondering where the heck they were going to be coming from and going from. Also, I put another one. May as well go show. I put another one right here, that way, yeah, that can happen. They can just grab the trash from here, put it there, and then just come back and, and just stay here. Instead of having to make that entire journey literally every single time. So, that's, that's why that's happening. Uh, let me get the stuff for a door. It's gonna be titanium, iron, and silica. Which I know for a fact I have more titanium over here. Perfection. Come up here, grab our silk. Boom, 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 boom. Sequence more silkworms. Wonderful. And then I already have the stuff for an auto crafter on me. So what I'm figuring I'll be able to do here is set up this for the big living compartment. Set myself up some of these, which I forgot the rest of the stuff for, and an auto crafter. And I can put the auto crafter just right here in the center of the room. I can go on ahead and give it supply fabric on channel priority two. I can set its recipe to automatically craft fabric. Inventory and objects within range are different larvas and stuff, so it currently doesn't have the rest of it. Give me one second. Okay, materials gathered. That means we'll be able to put these. Just one, two, and three. And these will make us silk in absolutely no time. Yep, they have the silk generators in view. And that means that given enough time, these wonderful things should provide the silk and give to the fabric. And then we can set this to launch automatically. That was the sound of a drone taking off, wasn't it? I don't see the drone, but I'm 90% sure that it was, because I didn't hear the auto-craft noise. And yeah, I think 
Uh, we may as well get some wheat and cocoa seeds, right? Just, just grab myself... I guess I could get four of these. And that's four. Because two of these is equivalent to one of these. Oh, you can only buy 12 of, of, of something at once. That's rather intriguing. I think that'll be fine. I can't believe that fabric is on the same level as a uranium rod, because a uranium rod is nine uranium. To do a little bit of math on that, you would need to have a tier two or tier three mining drill in a uranium cave which is osmium, super alloys, iridium rods. It's 164 energy per second to get you a little bit of uranium. Then an auto crafter, which we already have, so we can go ahead and say that that's null and void. You're probably gonna want a couple of these to get you uranium rods faster. Plus uranium's just super valuable anyway, not just for this, but also for rocket engines. Versus, these guys are 38 energy per second, so one-fifth, roughly, the power of that. And all it takes is worms. And what else are you going to use fabric for? I don't exactly make beautiful bases. I don't care that much, right? No. So I'm going to see if this ends up working, and once it does, hopefully, yeah, drones! <laughs> once it does end up working, I'll bring you guys back in, and we can wa watch this rocket launch off next time, I guess. So yeah, give me a second to make sure that I'm not crazy. So I am not, in fact, crazy. It takes two silk to make one of these, and as you can see, there is one silk left, which means all three of these produced because they were placed literally just plonk, 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 or plonk, 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 I forget. Um, so they are working. This did make a fabric, and then that fabric did in fact get transferred all the way over to here, which is super duper awesome. I'm very, very quite happy with this overall. But that's going to be it for today. This episode's already gone long, so I hope that that kind of makes up for me not being here for a bit. But that is going to be all for today. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. But without further ado, adios, sayonara, au revoir, hasta la vista, hasta la vista, hasta ciao, and goodbye. Please have yourselves a like, fantastic rest of your day. Get some sleep if you need to. Don't forget to stay hydrated. This video is in the bag, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later, y'all.